Oh my gosh, Norma coming alive as she sings and performs. Obviously, touching, beautiful story, Paul. And I couldn't help thinking, is there an explanation for why someone who can't remember her son, right. music triggers something and it all comes back? Mm -hmm. What's, is there a medical explanation? Well, I mean, a lot of experts and doctors think that that side of the brain is less affected, if mm -hmm. not affected, uh, rarely at all. Um, and so that's why music and art is used often as therapy for those suffering from Alzheimer's. Mm. Oh my gosh. And I loved though, I think what her son was saying about that if you are caring for someone with this, finding that one thing yeah. that does just open it up for them. And she them. really does come alive. You I know? can tell. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I need to go down to Lake Roland and witness this. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you know, we wanted to go to the Griner house to really see what life is like. Uh, and spend a little, at least a little bit of time with them beforehand. And, and it's one thing to talk to Larry on the phone and say, you know, my mom's still nursing that bowl of cereal from the morning. It's another thing to go there, and she loves chocolate ice cream. She loves chocolate. <laughs> and to just see her kind of nurse a bowl of chocolate ice cream and have Larry kind of put the music box on, put a song on his phone to really try to just keep her energized, keep her coming alive. Because mm -hmm. if, it, if not for Larry and his love, you can imagine mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. those days can be like. But now she has the ability to really share her gift that she has had and still has with the world. What an extraordinary son she has. Yeah. For yeah. someone well, to be so caring. You know, Larry says, well, I'm, I'm still in the home I grew up in. I sleep in the twin bed that I grew up in. <laughs> wow. But he took over for his brother, Howard, who was the primary caregiver okay. for so many years. And it really wore on Howard, he said. Oh, he yeah. said, I, I needed to take over just as a gift to my brother right. to mm -hmm. take care of my mom. And that's the story so many families deal with. Right. Yeah you know, juggling between siblings on caring for a parent or a grandparent. I have to tell you, it was, I mean, we were both, who would not tear up, I'm sure mm -hmm. you at home were as well, the beauty of it. But it's also, it's not a sad story about no. Alzheimer's. It made me hopeful. Yeah. It made yeah. me hopeful that if something like that happens to someone in my family who I love, if I can find that thing, yes. part of them will still be there, mm -hmm. you know? And, I mean, Alzheimer's dementia, it can be... Um, Hope is not really associated with it. Right, right, right. And so, uh, you know, more than six million Americans have Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. tens of millions worldwide. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why Larry says, for caregivers especially, when he puts those videos on Facebook, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's who really the real audience is because mm -hmm. it can really be demoralizing for the caregiver. Mm -hmm. And when they see someone like Norma, it gives them hope too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you yeah. for telling that story. Amazing. Of course. What, story what a great story. I hope you all got as much from it as we did. Absolutely.